All right, hey everybody, quick little video here just about Havoc game mode. I am really excited about it. I think that it has the a real capability to liven Dark Tide up a little bit more. And I'm not talking about like adding new stuff to the game because, you know, they did kind of recycle a lot of the old stuff. Uh, it doesn't really add any new content in terms of maps. Um, I mean, it does, of course, add the new affixes to enemies uh, or afflictions, whatever you want to call them, new modifiers. And those are pretty fun, I'll, I'll admit. I mean, it does add a little bit of a more challenging aspect to the game, like this one where they just kind of pop and cause little pools of blight to uh, appear on the ground. But I'm talking about more in terms of community engagement. Uh, they really, you know, the Party Finder came out, and I don't know how much everybody else used it, but I wasn't using it that much. I was just always defaulting to Quick Play. But this is kind of a double-edged sword because... In a way, they do kind of force you, unless you have people to play with, which <laughs> I don't. But they do kind of force you to use their Party Finder system, um, which, you know, whatever. I mean, in all honesty, I would rather use that than having to keep hitting Quick Play over and over again and join into a lobby full of bots. Uh, so it, it almost feels more like World of Warcraft or like an MMORPG at this point now where you kind of have to not only get yourself prepared so that you look... Um, appealing to the people that like the groups that you're applying to but you know it goes the same if you're uh making the group yourself no one's going to want to join you if you're in like 440 gear uh from what i've seen anyways um i mean my weapon levels are pretty high right now and i've been playing for i mean since beta and i still there's some groups that i still can't get in I mean, i'm still a fucking fat kid Right, and I'm trying to get into the cool kids table, and they're just like, Sh "Shut up, fatty." Whatever, whatever, dude. I fucking rip your eyes out with my braces. How's that sound? Um, but overall, I think they did a really great job. The uh, Dark Communion mission is super fun. It almost feels like a Vermintide Two mission. It's awesome. I fucking love it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think they they did a really great job with the Grim Protocols update. Now, I hope that they don't go on vacation for another six months and just leave us with this. Uh, but I, I really do think that this could be the start of something great for Dark Tide. Um, bringing more people in, kind of making Endgame a little bit more attractive. You know, that might not bring as many new people in as they're hoping, but hopefully it brings back a large crowd of the old players who want to experience Endgame. Excuse me, I, Nurgle just tried to escape my throat. Um, but, you know, bring back some of the old players that want to experience this new endgame content. Uh, it's, like I said, I use content tongue-in-cheek. Um, I think it's more for the experience, more for the rewards, more to be a part of something so big and community-driven. Uh, it is fun. And then, of course, with the introduction of the new weapons, um, maybe we'll have a little bit of hope for what's to come in the future. But anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my little discussion about the Havoc game mode. I think that it's fantastic. Um, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Take care.